I am looking fine and dandy. Ooh. Come through, baby. No, let's not do that. Hello my little darlings and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Yes indeed, excuse my crusty, dusty, ugly fucking face, you know, today. Because I have uh, taken my makeup off for the day, you know, while I recorded a different video before this one. And I needed to, you know, clean my face off for this one. Yes indeed. So I am looking like I'm gonna die, as usual. Yes indeed. Today we are gonna do something that I haven't done in ages on my channel. When I started my channel I had a series that was called Doing my makeup like or Sminka my som in Swedish. Not that popular because nobody watched it. I don't know why that was. It was very funny in my opinion. But now that uh, I am looking back on those videos I want to die. But uh, we are gonna do a Doing my makeup like. And I am as honor. As in honor of the Swedish beauty community that is non-existent at the moment, I am gonna do my makeup like a Swedish beauty influencer. Yes, indeed. And you might not think that is, you know, no difference from a American or a UK-based beauty influencer, but there is a little, tiny, teensy, wincy difference. Yes, indeed. It's not much, but since I am from Sweden, I will just do that. Yes, indeed. So, before I'm gonna do that, I just want to encourage you to press that little like, subscribe and notification icon down below so you can become a part of the Darling Squad and the Gasmo family as well. Yes, indeed. So, we are just gonna, you know, jump straight into this because why, you know, shatter all on about it, you know, when we can just put makeup on our faces. Or, you know, on my face. You don't have to put makeup on if you don't want to. We are gonna start out with telling you that I have cleansed my face with this micellar water after using these makeup wipes from CN. Really good. One euro, T kroner. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very ugly accent as well. CN does the most amazing products, you know, for a very, very cheap price. Yes, indeed. But we are gonna put some primer on, and I am just gonna use this very skin peri. Pe what? Skin Carry Primer from CN, it's their Hydro Expert Cream Gel. I don't know if it's on sale anymore, but this is a dupe of the Neutrogena Blue Hyaluronic Acid series. Yes, in this, you can probably use their cream gel as well. But this one contains dimethicone and hyaluronic acid, so we're just gonna dip down in that one so we can get that flawless base because dimethicone is straight up silicone and we'll just clog your pores so they look amazingly smooth. Yes, indeed. But we're really just gonna apply that because primer is really, really uh, of a huge deal. I have noticed a trend that they are not very eager to talk about why they are using certain products, why they think they are good, you know. They are just slattering on the most expensive thing they can find and, you know, wants you to buy it as well, you know, without even telling you why it's good, you know. And um, I just can't with that. But that is all, you know, for a different video that I will probably never do because I can't speak just sitting down. It's very, very hard for me because I need to do something to actually focus my thoughts on what I am saying. Yes, indeed, primer is on. It will just have to sit on my skin for a little moment. Yes, indeed. Let's Let's use this little foundation, it's the Revolution Fast Base Foundation and this is in the color F4 and it's too light for me, too neutral, but we're just gonna apply that all over my face anyway and we're just gonna need to apply it real heavily, you know, because we need that coverage, you know, to disguise the fact that we don't sleep enough, you know, and that we party too much and drink too much alcohol, you know, so we can stay up all night going to all the extravagant parties in Stockholm. And we're just gonna blend this out to infinity and beyond as you should be doing with every foundation you are using. The fun part is that I have only seen one Swedish YouTuber use this brand and she is the one that I didn't actually think that she should be using it because I didn't know that these products were vegan but apparently they are vegan and uh, that is good if you are vegan you know because these are really really cheap and this is way way too neutral for me I look like Casper the friendly ghost but that is of no matter because we are just gonna warm up our faces with a shitload of bronzer yes indeed in true Swedish beauty guru fashion yes indeed to really cake on the foundation and the makeup, you know, claiming to look real natural and flawless, even though they look like a goddamn birthday cake at the end of it. 
Now, we are gonna go in with a concealer, because we need to look even paler than we did before. And I am gonna use this Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer on this already pale pinky face. I am gonna look like I'm dead after this. I really need to. We are just gonna... Ooh, really glob that shit on, you know. Oh, because our bags is down to our knees, apparently. Ooh, like that. Oh, like that. This, ooh, so influencing right now. Now, let's just blend this out into infinity and beyond. You know, the whole idea is that I should be looking bronzed and snatched and, you know, like I have been on Paradise Hotel or something like that, you know, one of those reality TV shows, but uh, I, I decided I wanted to look like I have been living on Antarctica for the last year or so. It's a very, very long time ago I caked on this much concealer on my face, you know. I do say that I use a lot of products in my videos, but this is ridiculous. But, you know, since I use that really dewy base, I, you know, it doesn't crease at least, so that is nice. Now, my darlings, I look like the geisha from Memoirs of a Geisha, you know, so uh, we are just gonna contour my face right now and for contour today i will use this contour stick from glam of sweden oh, and we're just gonna do it like this cute as shit as always just ooh like that <coughs> and we are just gonna shrink our forehead and our nose as well and we can't really use too much contour at this point you know we are just gonna cake that shit on you know Yes, indeed. Now let's just uh, blend that out. The patchier and straighter it looks, the better it is, of course, you know. And we are just gonna pat it out where we just put it, you know. We are just not gonna blend it out or anything. We are just gonna make it dilute into the foundation. We are not gonna drag it around our faces to make it look more even or shaped, you know. We are just gonna have two little cheekbones and a really, really straight nose, you know, that is snatched. To the gods right now. Really shrinking our forehead to the gods, you know, like that. Oh, so cute, I can I. Oh, yes. Now, it's time to powder my face and to try to save this pale disaster going on to my face. I will use a banana powder. We are, of course, gonna bake, my darlings, because that is what you do. We are just gonna... Everybody bakes, but we are gonna bake to infinity and beyond, you know. And uh, we are just gonna take a powder puff and we are just gonna... Oh, pat that where we have our concealer, of course, like this. We can't get enough powder in this house, you know. Powder on the house. Ooh, yes. I don't think my contour is too dark, you know. It needs to be even darker, but we are gonna fix that with bronzer later on. And now we're just gonna bake my face, but it will look too yellow if I bake it for too long. Otherwise, I will be sitting here for like one hour, you know, and I really don't want to do that. Okay, so now I actually match with my neck to some degree, at least. I am not looking half bad. Now we are gonna bronze our faces. I am just gonna use the darkest bronzer I own, which is this from Lidl. This would, uh, you know, ideally be the Hulu bronzer from Benefit or whatever brand that they are using, but I will just use this. And I will just bronze my face really dark. Just give myself that ooh tan that I can never get because I use too much FPS. Oh yes, and just right there as well, you know. Really, really much. I am looking fine and dandy. Ooh. Come through, baby. No, let's not do that. And let's do the same with our forehead, you know, just really make ourselves look like a dirt patch. Bronzy, bronzy, Bahamas. Yes, indeed. And little on the nose as well, you know, because we can't leave the nose looking like it has not seen the sun in years. Ooh, I feel fancy today. Not at all like a clown or anything like that. I feel good about myself right now. This is Swedish Influencer 101. Now it's time for highlighter. And we can't be using any type of highlighter. We need to use the most obscenely bright highlighter we own, you know, so that is, you know, nothing new from what I'm usually doing. But uh, we are not actually gonna put it on places we actually want them to go on. We are just gonna put it right here, like that. A little bit more, perhaps. A little bit more. Ooh. Just make my shape bones pop right off of my head. Ooh, yes. Ooh, that glow is popping right out of my face. We are of course not gonna highlight up 
towards there, you know. We're just gonna highlight right here on the cheekbone. So we really, really get that really pointy look to our face. Like we are surgically snatched to infinity and beyond, you know. And of course we're not gonna highlight our noses like normal person. So we are just gonna make our nose tip look really bright. Little bit brighter like that. Ooh, just like that. Yes, indeed. A little bit more, you know, just to be safe. We can't, we can't be safe enough just like that. Ooh. Let's do the same on our chica bones as well. We are just gonna dig into that highlight on just... Oh, yes, bitch. This is how we should look like. Now we're just gonna do the same on our inner corner. Because we don't use eyeshadow in Sweden apparently. We're just gonna highlight our inner corner really much. Just popping that eye out of our heads, you know? Like, ooh. Now we are talking. Oh, yes. Queen. So highlighted I can die. This ain't cute, but we are not gonna put anything on our eyes, because why would we? What is eyeshadow? We just want this real natural feel to our makeup, you know? Like we have been on the Bahamas and working out all day long, just... <coughs> with that Rudolph nose in the middle. Yes, indeed. Now it's time to do our brows, and it, it's, you know, split. Thoughts about how you should do your brows, some think that you should do them really snatched, some th people think that you should do them really natural. But uh, the common theme is just make them real dark, like big blocks of color, and I know this is just not anything that is particularly, you know, limited to Sweden, but uh, it feels like the Swedish influencers are just loving this look more than they should, you know. Ooh, like horrendous blocks of color. Ooh, yes, that insta brow. Now let's do the other one as well. Just like that. I should have done them even darker, but I can't possibly do them even darker without using black eyeshadow. And I still want to keep my dignity intact as long as it goes, you know? If that is even possible with my channel at this point. But we are just gonna continue on with our makeup look. Our really natural, just roll out of bed look we have going on in here. And we are just gonna highlight our brow bone really much, you know? Like we know what we are doing, you know? And we're just gonna really make them prominent by framing them with the highlight. Beautiful indeed. I'm feeling like the influencer I am right now. There is nothing wrong with this look, you know, nothing at all. If you want to look like this, you should totally do it, you know, but uh, in my opinion, it's just a little uh, too much. But you do you, my darlings, of course, you should be who you are since nobody else can. And I'm, you, I just can't with these harsh lines. I mean, come on, of course I am exaggerating a little tiny bit, but uh, not that much. And you know, that is pretty much it, you know, because what is eyeshadow in this community? I just don't know what that is. And of course, we're just gonna set this masterpiece. So we are gonna use the CN Contouring for a long lasting finish fixing spray. And then this is gas propelled. Don't get it in your eyes. No shade towards the Swedish community, I know that this is just a really really big exaggeration of what I, you know, feel like the Swedish beauty influencers look like. Not everybody looks like this and many of them are really really good at doing their makeup, you know. But this is like, if you want to really show off that you are a beauty influencer, you should really totally look like this, you know. With that really strong contour, that really highlighted pointy nose, those really sharp cheekbones, you know, like you are surgically enhanced and those really big Instagram eyebrows and that really patchy forehead with no contour right there. But of course this is just a joke, I love everybody, you know, even though it seems like I just hate people when I do these kinds of videos, you know. Just want to make it clear that this were a joke if you didn't get that. Yes indeed, because you need to have a little bit more humor in this little uptight Swedish community we have going on here in Sweden. Yes, indeed. So, my darlings, thank you so much for watching, and I really, really hope you want to press that like, subscribe, and notification icon if you like this video, so you can become a part of the Darling Squad and the Gasmo family as well. And if you want to compare this look to my more natural, everyday look, you can totally check out the video that is popping up right here, you know, if I remember it. If I don't, I don't, and I'm so sorry about it. You have just have to check out my channel. Yes, indeed, and I'm just setting my under eyes a little teensy tiny bit. 
So once again, thank you so much for watching my little darlings, and always remember to be who you are, since nobody else can, and I see you in the next one. Mm, bye!